Okay, so this is the the pot rose. Okay, it's been uh, almost six hours. Okay, so right now I want to take it out. And you can see okay so so a lot of the uh, onion soup has just stayed on the top I'm gonna toss this back in the in the sauce okay and then I want to show you what's left over Okay, uh, so this is the juices that came out of it. Oops. So there's quite a bit of oil uh, from the fat. And then uh, the rest is uh, the, the soup mix and the meat juices. Okay, so what you can do with this you reserve this on the side uh, you can make that with you can make a great beef soup with that uh, beef vegetable uh, you just add more water to because that's very salty uh, and then uh, what you do is this since this is too much for one student what you can do is it's cheaper to buy it as a roast like this so what you want to do is you want to cut it into servings that would be more practical okay. so so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to select pieces and like as i mentioned before in the in the uh the chuck steak how you separate these things and as you can see it just does it by itself okay so we're just going to continue on with that okay and uh so this is a smaller piece we'll come back to that and the larger piece we can cut this small section off if we want and then make thin we'll chill this down and then make thin slices with this because it's actually easier to cut when it's it's thinner okay so uh when it's chilled so i'm going to put this inside a container and then you can come back to that you can chill this down in a refrigerator and if you want to, uh, you can put some of the reserve sauce in so you have something to start with your, uh, if you want to make a gravy out of this, you can. So, so let's throw some in because we don't need all of this for what I plan to do with this smaller piece. Okay, so that's more than enough gravy because remember, that's all concentrated juice. Okay. So put that on the side to chill. Now, uh, the easiest method is to just get a gravy mix. As I mentioned earlier, they have gravy mixes, uh, uh, whatever flavor you want. Uh, uh, a good one for this is uh, mushroom, mushroom brown gravy or just brown gravy or beef au jus. And so what you're going to do is, see, this came right out of the pot, so this is still hot. And... It kind of shreds when you cut it up, so I'll show you that. Okay, you want to keep all this juice. Okay, so we'll pour this back in here. But if you were to cut this now, it kind of shreds. It doesn't really hold up. Okay, I mean it's nice and tender. You can see. Okay, and so if you're gonna eat this right away, then this is fine. You do this. Okay. And it's very easy to cut. Now, if you wait and you get the chilled one where it's refrigerated, then you can cut it even thinner. And what's nice about that is you can make that for a beef, roast beef sandwich or uh, some other uh, beef dish. Or if this is pork pot roast dish. I mean, this could be any kind of cut of meat. Okay. And as you can see, it's nice and tender. Everything just falls apart okay so um for now i'm just gonna put it in here in this container and like i said you can put this away and then eat it later 
or use it for some other dish okay so because this is cut it's already cooked in the sauce so I'm just gonna pour this over and of course while it's chilling it'll soak it up even more so using this in a dish in any other dish like over uh, a toast uh, you could just use it straight off like this over toast uh, uh, rice if you have or whatever other starch if you have mashed potatoes you can just put it straight on you don't need to do anything else you just microwave it and just put it right on okay so that keeps it nice and simple uh, this is enough for two meals for uh, for one person for two meals uh, this is a lot of meat it's all it's all meat uh, there's no vegetables so you would serve a vegetable on the side if you have it now you can make a sauce with uh, taking uh, mushroom soup or any of your favorite uh, soups like um, cream of chicken or cream of mushroom or cream of leeks, cream of broccoli, or even a cheese. Uh, they have cheese sauces and stuff like that uh, by uh, soup companies. And you just don't add that much water. And then what you do is you just make your sauce, put your peat on, uh, meat on top and let it warm up and it also infuses the flavor of the sauce into the meat not that you need it right because this is already seasoned remember it's seasoned with the onion soup okay so we have two two examples of what to do with the pot roast you have a larger piece here that we will chill and slice thin and use for roast beef sandwich or hot roast beef sandwich or cold even cold roast beef sandwich you can cut it up into smaller chunks and add mayonnaise uh, for a uh, uh, cold, cold cut sandwich, okay, and then of course the hot, hotter version, uh, you can add boiled uh, potatoes, boiled vegetables, or even stir fried vegetables, and just put this on top, or you can just put it in a sandwich.